Yeah, in my mind. Yeah, in my mind. I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yarns. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind would it leave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is right. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. Starting to be on my lane. My mind running to me. Oh no. Hi, it's your Biden speaking. It is 5 a.m. and we are now heading to the best 18th birthday girls trip in Ibiza. Are you ready? Grab some snacks, sit back, and enjoy. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most We have to give thanks like we're really supposed to be thankful Yes, it's all from the life on I am so, so excited. I'm in Ibiza with my sister, with my niece, and my mom. And it's going to be like the amazing, the most beautiful five days of my life. So, I turned 18. It's my birthday today, 21st April. And I'm going to take my birthday picture soon. We check in in our hotel, but first we got some breakfast. It was like 10 euros per person. And for my sister, it was 7 euros. But the breakfast was not giving what it's supposed to give, if I'm very, very honest. Um, the only thing that was like digestible was the croissants. I like chocolate croissants, but the rest. But now we know that tomorrow and other days we're not taking breakfast here. By the way, guys, the view is so nice. I'm going to give you a little tour of the hotel. The view is so beautiful and the weather is way better than the Netherlands. Plus, I got my new hair done. I'm going to show you guys my hair. And basically now I'm waiting. Um, my mom is doing my niece. Her hair, my cousin, my cousin hair. So I'm just waiting, going to take my birthday pictures. Then we got some reservations. I think we're going to walk around first, get some lunch, and then change in our like classy clothes because we're going to Cotton Beach, Ibiza Beach Club, something like that. But yeah. <laughs> Behind the camera, and we got Daniela, my cousin. For we're just enjoying and we taking like water. Uh, pictures or uh, admiring how blue the water is. So, yeah, now we're going back to the hotel because the way I've suffered, look at this place right there. And uh, we were taking pictures there, and I got back. Back because 
Hi guys, we're going to Cotton Beach Club Ibiza. And um, look at that, look at the outfit. Show the details, show the details. So this is from? Zara. Yes, yes, period. Okay, where's the jewelry from? Like, tell us all the details. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, Sazi. Yeah. This one is from Grace. Mm -hmm. And I'm not good at my <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, so this my mom bought for me. This one my mom bought for me as well. And like the sandals I'm wearing are from Shein. So yeah, mom, tell me your hey, mom, tell me your details, your outfit um, details. Yeah, my earrings I have to put them on. Well, yeah. my mom bought me these for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, this says it's from the Taco Fashion. Yes. This one I don't know where. And this one is from the Shein. And these are from a wrinkle in the stuff. Mom, tell me your outfit details. Oh. The top, uh, sorry, from Taco Fakshi. Mm -hmm. Pants are from Ishana. Yeah. I have my Louis bag and yeah. my sandals are from Michael Kors. Yay! And okay. my hair is from De La Gaza. But her by De La Gaza. This hair is also oh, by De La Gaza. Yeah, our hair is from De La Gaza, but now we're going to the taxi. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys at Cotton Beach Club Ibiza. Burr. The sunglasses stolen from my mom. Um, the jewelry, my earrings are from Shein, and my hat is from Shein as well. And later on, they're going to give you their outfit details. But yesterday was fun, but only the price of the lunch really bamboozled me. Because why did the menu say it's 22 euros for one paella? 24 euros. And another one was 34 euros. Then, why <laughs> was the bill coming and it said 134 euros? We were so confused, but for some reason they say the 22 euros is for one person, but if you want to buy it, they don't do one person, it's minimum of two people, which doesn't make any sense. So I kind of feel scammed, but the food was great. So that's not a problem. Then dinner, we went to, like, cut, we went to Cotton Beach. Uh, club which it was really nice very fancy um the bill was also kind of heartbreaking but it was the birthday so um yeah it's worth it we could spend a bit but we didn't buy a lot i think the most expensive thing was my mom's uh sashimi and the cauliflower which is really great and the cocktails but well, the fries were like 12 euros for fries it's expensive but if you compare it to like the other things we bought but uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to make my sandwich kind of just with Philadelphia and that's it. Daniela, have you eaten? Yeah. Do you want, do you want to eat some? 
Your sandwich? Yeah, it's not even a sandwich, it's just bread with Philadelphia. Oh, give, give the details of your outfit while I'm making my... Uh... Oh, um, it's basically like sponsored by Shine mm -hmm. and um, yeah, AliExpress. Yes. Glasses are from Ali. Yes. And this one I got from my auntie. Perfect. This one. And uh, yeah, this also from Ali. Yes. This one, yeah, Shine, I think, and the beanie is also from Shine. Perfect. Anyway, show, show them the outfit details. I'm very excited yeah. because I know the pictures I'm going to make there. Yeah. Yes. Are you? Okay. I'm excited too. The reservation is 2:30. It's right now like one o'clock. So we'll just take a walk. Me, Daniela, and Aaron. Aaron, my little sister. I'll just take some videos because I was actually surprised that Ibiza looked like this. Like there's so much nature. Like most vlogs that I watched, there wasn't a lot of nature to be honest. Most of the vlogs are just like partying, which is normal, but I didn't expect to see a lot of uh, mountains or whatever, which is really cute. But yeah, I'll see you guys later when we take a walk. Huh. Anyways, we're walking to the beach. It's actually not that warm, but you can kind of feel the potential. It's not but, sunny. Yeah, it's not sunny. Yeah, windy, sunny, but you can feel it because because it's cloudy. It feels way less warmer than it should be. Okay, so we're at the beach, and Daniela's going to uh, do her head out. She's going to do her lashes, and I'm with my sister. Oh, but you want to stay right? She says she's going to do her lashes, but she's staying right now. So. Okay, anyways, we're going to take some more pictures and I'll show you guys all the pictures, guys. It's so nice and the water is so blue. It's so, so blue. But love it. And yeah, I'm just enjoying day two out of five. So, per. But the sun is definitely hitting. But we're going back because my mom is calling me. I knew it because she's going to call the taxi right now. Story time, guys. We just got kicked out, out of her taxi because we took the wrong one. My mom ordered the taxi like 20 minutes ago. We saw a taxi. We stepped in. 10 seconds later, he just like, he just walks out and opens the door for Daniela. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So we took, a, apparently it's for some other Dutch people and they're going to the airport. But now the main question is, where is our taxi? Yeah, exactly. And it's two, the reservation is 2.30. What's the time right now? It's... 14 24. That's not normal. So we got six minutes together. Yeah, and it's a 16 minutes drive.
shots. Three, two, one, go. It's strong, but it isn't Definitely. that. Yeah, it was really strong, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the effect will. Um, yes. <laughs> Okay guys, we have a dinner reservation at 8 o'clock. It was first 7.30, then we called and asked if it could be pushed to 8. Um, it's now one minute before 8. We are so it tired. <laughs> it's, it's the shadow. But um, we're so tired, but we just, we just ordered uh. the taxi. And yeah, we're just laying in our beds. And honestly, we're so, so tired. But it'll be fine. The fit. I want to show you guys the outfit. This is my outfit. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, this is my outfit. This is just from machine in. And these, these shoes are from a shop. At the Stotland Bar. Place is looking fancy. We're kind of late. It's 8.30. But that's, not late. A, but that's not a point. Okay, let me show you guys. This girl didn't took any bag. She just took her phone and a charger and she left it in the taxi. He's here, right? I'm trying to get the thought process, but I'm not understanding. Me neither. Yeah, that's serious. Guys, we're just done with dinner and my mom is calling back and forth with the people, with the taxi people from my sister's phone. First of all, food was disgusting. Oh my days, how can you fuck up carbonara? My mom is squid. The squid wasn't squidding. It was not squidding. But now we're trying to fix my uh, sister's phone. It's crazy. Okay guys, do you remember this clip? Yes. We were trying to figure out the license plate of the taxi that my sister got her phone and charger and sunglasses lost. So in this screenshot, you can see that we found the license plate. The only problem is that the receptionist at the hotel where we we're having our dinner told us that she, that the license plate, it's good that we found it, but it wouldn't really help her. So unfortunately, what we actually needed was the two numbers so it's like a two digit number on the taxi the car door and that would really help like identify which taxi it is and yada 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 okay we couldn't find it because unfortunately that wasn't in the video but what did help so as soon as we realized my sister's phone is lost we started calling it like 24 7 every second the whole dinner we were just calling my calling my sister's phone we my mom even locked in her um, Apple ID on her phone and we were trying to we were trying to do the find my iPhone um, that was offline for some reason but anyways we never stopped calling um, her phone was probably on silent but it did ring so that was perfect so we kept on calling we went to reception and then we asked the receptionist okay maybe do you have like any suggestions she was like yeah i'm trying to stay positive and i hope you find the phone and so she asked us okay 
give me the number of my sister's phone. She's going to, going to try to call them to call the phone and hopefully the driver picks up and she can speak Spanish to him. So that's exactly what we did. And after like two times, as you can see in this video, the driver picked up. Oh my God, we were so, so happy. So the driver picked up and she was speaking like Spanish. I don't understand Spanish, but she was like, okay, before she called my sister's phone, she was like, okay, I'm going to try to call them, but I'm not trying to be negative, just positive, but I'm going to try to call the phone and hopefully the driver picks up. But in the meantime, I'll call another taxi for you guys. So you can go back to your hotel. Okay, she did that. Then that's when my that's when the driver luckily picked up the phone. She spoke Spanish to him. So he's going to take the phone and bring it to us. The only problem is she already called the taxi and the taxi was here. So she told the, the, the taxi driver that has my sister's phone, okay, come to our, our apartment, which is uh, Camelina Suites. And we took the taxi that already came and we also drove back to Camelina Suites. So we had to pay the driver, um, the taxi driver that didn't know anything. He just came to pick us up to the hotel and we had to pay the other driver, which had my sister's phone which was like 34 euros because I don't know where he was, but he had to come back from the place he was. And yeah, I think it was far because he had to come. I don't know why it was 34 euros to be honest. Maybe he was somewhere, he had to drove back, but it was probably far. So yeah, he gave the phone, he even charged the phone, which was, which was nice because my sister said she had like 6% and when he came back and gave the phone, it was like 20, between 20 and 30%. But yeah, that's what happened. It was a lot, but fortunately, my sister had the phone. And yeah, I hope she never does this again. So, Aram, I know you're watching. Never do this again. I'm just happy we found the phone. A very good afternoon, guys. Um, it is day three, and we're going to Ibiza town. This is my fit. I have a black and white fits. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for the rest. All of us are almost done. We're just taking our little last minute stuff. And now we're going. Going to Ibiza down from our hotel. It's like a 20, 24 minute, 25 minute drive. So yeah, let's go guys. <laughs> Down, guys. Hi, girls, girls, Daniela. Girls. Why is she? Why? Why are these people not coming into the cameras? We made any pizza town, and the sun is sunny today. The weather is amazing, guys. The weather is amazing. So guys we were looking for a waffle place apparently we went there it doesn't even exist i think um they're closed for a long time i don't know the person said four años i don't know what it means girl do you can you translate years. four years so i think he meant he means that it's closed for four years because we used maps and it said it was we are there but it was like another yeah, yeah. It, it, it was not adding up it was another restaurant but it is what it is we saw a different place so we're going there
y'all guys we're on the boat oh the, the the sea is so blue everything is so cute like i'm loving it and the city exactly Guys, we're going to try a McDonald's in, in Spain, Ibiza. So we have these McBites and loaded fries. And it's all in the bag, but that's not the point. So first, we got a McBite. And it's okay. I thought it would be more crunchier, but it's not that bad. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish there was a sauce. Exactly. Now we got the... Another fries. It's good. It's smoky, but it's still okay. I prefer. I don't know which one. I, I think this one. The mm -hmm. McBites, but this is also good. This is also good. And they give very, very big uh, portions. Yeah, because I'm, I'm surprised. Our last night in the pizza and today we have a beach day we're at the beach Cala Tarida Our last night, and we're eating ice cream. Tell me your flavors, okay? First, Daniela. Dolce de leche. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only one I know. <laughs> okay, I have dolce de leche, I have tiramisu, and like Ibiza cheesecake. I also have tiramisu. Mm -hmm. Mom, which one do you have? Oh, you have white chocolate, pistache, and uh, Ibiza cheesecake. Yes, and um, AM? I have white chocolate. I have um, crunchy caramel and I have cookie teller. Mm -hmm. And I have a secret, my mom is a bit jealous. <laughs> Tell me why. Tell because us why. I took the first one and I thought, wow, mine is the biggest. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> each ice cream gets bigger and bigger and than bigger mine. And bigger and bigger, yeah. And Ours I'm very is, jealous. Ours are, is so huge, it's so big. But it is what it is, yeah? Enjoy yours. Yeah. Hi guys, it's our last day and our flight is at 6.15. I'm so sad, I don't want to leave, I don't want to go. 
but it is what it is and right now um checkout time is at 12. at first it was 10 a.m but yesterday we asked the lady the receptionist um which time and she saved us she told us yeah latest will be 12 um 12 o'clock for you guys but not later than that so i'm really happy about that but now i'm just waiting on the rest and i think we'll just chill at the pool and do whatever but yeah i'm just enjoying the view for now Hi guys, we're now in the Lido. Hold it. Bought some drinks. And we stored our luggage in this easy locker. It's a really cool system. You can just store your stuff there and you have to pay online. Which is really cool. And now we're just going to chill in the pizza town for like two hours before our flight. 